What's up, everybody? Zoran in here, back with some more foreign goodies to try. Um, I've got five more things to try today, so let's go for it. First up, I'm going to be trying Bahalslin Hit. Um, Bahalslin Hit. I have no idea where this is from, to be honest. Um, have you tried our other flavor? Oh, they have a white. They have a reverse flavor. Um, basically, they look like uh, they kind of look like an Oreo. They're they're a biscuit or a cracker cookie or something with a chocolate cream filling. Um, it looks like they have a reverse version that kind of looks like a uh, Oreo. It looks like it's a product of Poland. Um, this may be made of the American branch or at least North American branch, uh, but yeah, product of Poland. So. Here is one of them out of the wrapper. Um, it does actually say hit right on it. There you can kind of, there it is, hit. Um, so let's see if it's a hit. <laughs> oh, wow. It crumbled. Um, hmm. Hmm. That's weird. Um, the chocolate filling is very good. Uh, yeah, definitely good chocolate cream filling. But, uh, the, what, how do they even describe this? Chocolate with cocoa cookies. They call them cookies. But, no, they taste like, they taste like Ritz crackers. Like, you know how Ritz crackers are supposed to be buttered? They taste like if you took a Ritz cracker and didn't butter it. It's very dry, crumbly. A little sweet, but very barely. Um, definitely not an American idea of a cookie. Uh, they're not bad. They're just not good. I wouldn't, I wouldn't eat them. Um, in fact, I'm not even gonna eat this one. Uh, it's starting to dry out my mouth considerably, actually. Crumbs everywhere, too. Uh, I'd stick to Ritz and cheese or something like that. Ugh. Okay. Next up, we're going to do this one. Hello Panda uh, by Miji. The same guys that made the uh, Choco Gummy or whatever that was called. I think I threw it away. That stuff wasn't very good. Um, hopefully, this is better. Uh, this is a biscuit with cocoa cream around it, or inside of it. Uh, as you can see, the kind of oozing out there on the package. Uh, let's grab a few of them. I took a few out of the package. Uh, they come with sports designs now. Um, there's a little panda playing tennis. Got a little panda playing what looks to be a sailboat. I'm not sure how that's, maybe he is sailing. And a little panda here playing ping pong ball, or ping pong. Uh, you can see, there's ping pong. Uh, so let's give these a try. Mmm, mmm, that is actually really good. Wow, uh, tastes a lot like Pocky. I don't know if you've had Pocky before. Uh, but basically, biscuit and cream filling. You can see the cream filling in there. Uh, it's not liquidy, it's solid. Ooh, those are good. Probably the best thing I've tried so far. One more. For me. <laughs> Again, I have uh, a liquid here. Today it's water to cleanse my palate. So I'm trying so many things I want to try and I'm going to try and intermix the flavors as little as possible. This next one is uh, going to be interesting. This is Moe's Dark Chocolate by Vosigus. Anyways, yes, that's bacon. Uh, it is 62% dark chocolate, hickory smoked uncured bacon, and some alderwood smoked salt. Uh, so, of course, it looks like big strips of yummy bacon on there. You get the piece of chocolate out, and, of course, you really can't see bacon anywhere. I'm um, actually looking close up on it. I can see some bits of bacon in there. Yep. 
Bacon. Uh, so I'm going to break it in half. Do one at a time here. I'm going to chew one and let one melt in my mouth. Uh, as I said in a previous video, dark chocolate, I prefer to let melt in my mouth. It tends to taste better, but uh, let's chew one. Definitely getting some hickory and some bits of salt, which could also be bacon. Um, it's weird. Ooh. No. Mmm. That isn't good. Bacon does not make everything better. Honestly, it could probably use more bacon. I, in all honesty, I'm not even eating the second half. Um, that's not good. Uh, they also carry a sweet bacon version. So I think they replace the salt with like cinnamon and sugar or something. Maybe that's better. I wouldn't trust it. Oh. Oh, I'm going to need to. Okay. So there's that. Okay, this next one really freaks me out. But it might be good. I don't know. Um, it's Mario Snack Olives. It's bagged black olives. Uh, without any juice. I really don't know what these are going to be at all. Um, it's a product to me that should be canned. But it's bagged. Honestly, you can bag things that you can can things. They should be fine. But it worries me because I'm not used to it here in America. So let's open up some Mario pitted snack olives. Um, I went for black olives. They are my favorite. But they also have green olives. And uh, well, they're a little smashed. But uh, yeah, looks like a black olive. A smashed black olive. I, I still got that bacon chocolate in my mouth. All right, let's try black olive. Wow, yeah, tastes just like, just like a black olive. Maybe a little saltier than it should be. Um, they do put some sea salt on them, which woof, that's pretty salty actually. Yeah, oh, it tastes perfectly like black olives except for that extra salt. Um, I'd rather just buy a can of black olives to be honest. That's salty. If you could get a non-sea salted version, it would be awesome. Because, yeah, just like black olives. Probably save these for some tacos or something because, whoo, that's salty. I can eat a can of black olives straight. That's too salty. But it's sea salt, so it's healthier. Okay, the last one I'm really excited about. I'm pretty sure I'm going to love this one. Uh, it's a chunky Kit Kat, which... I, I have never seen here in America. We used to have big Kit Kats, like super large, which was similar to this, which might be the same thing. Uh, but this is peanut butter flavor. This also comes in, I believe, mint, orange, and uh, green tea. Some odd flavors. Uh, we do not have gr mint. Uh, we've had mint Kit Kats here before, but they seem to have gone away. We do not have green tea, and we do not have orange. And we don't have peanut butter. So, let's give this one a shot. I love peanut butter. love uh, Reese's peanut butter cups, that kind of thing. There's a little nice spot to break it, so I did go ahead and break it. Uh, there is the Kit Kat. Uh, you can see the peanut butter up top. Honestly, it kind of looks like a Reese's Fast Break or something like that. But, of course, it's going to be a Kit Kat. It's got the wafer and the other stuff in there. So, Yeah, I mean... Tastes like a Kit Kat with peanut butter. It's delicious. Absolutely brilliant. Um, in all honesty, I'd rather have a regular Kit Kat with peanut butter. They're crunchier. And perhaps a little less of the chocolate. Uh, this doesn't really seem crunchy at all. I'm actually going to break some of the chocolate off. Can't really get it. I broke a good chunk of the chocolate off. I'm going to try it like that see if it's crunchier. Oh, yeah. It's definitely crunchier. So, I mean, it's that large amount of chocolate that's kind of deflating it. But, uh, no, that's good. That one I would definitely buy again. So, um, in recap, I don't remember the order I tried this stuff in. <laughs> hit. Not a hit. 
Um, really dry. Weird. Not bad. I could definitely see some of you guys liking this. Uh, just not my thing. It's it, They're a little dry, very crumbly. It's Ritz with chocolate, which if you like that, try it. Hello Panda. Very good, excellent. Um, by far my favorite I tried so far. Mario's Snack Olives. Tastes just like black olives, just what you expect. Too salty though, they added sea salt. Not necessary. Make us a non-salted version. There goes that bacon. Um, the Vosges Hot Chocolate. Um, this might be German. Certified WBEN Women's Business Enterprise. What? I don't know what that is. Well, it says Chicago, Illinois on the packaging. So it might just be American or it might be a branch of that that's printing or making it in America. Either way, Moe's Dark Chocolate with bacon and salt. Uh, not good. Don't. Don't get it. And finally, the out the inside of a Kit Kat wrapper. Uh, chunky Kit Kat peanut butter. Pretty dang good. It's a Kit Kat with peanut butter. Um, good stuff. So, um, three out of five today? I, I'd still give the snack olives a thumbs up. Um, pretty close to being a thumbs down, but still thumbs up. So, three out of five. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Zorandan Eat Stuff, or whatever I'm calling this series. I don't know. Please do thumbs up and subscribe so I can bring you more of me eating weird stuff. And that's going to do it for today. See you next time.